All right, Shalom. All right, giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David, the one starting with the 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Shaka. All right, uh, you know, wanted to do this uh, sit down on the day, you know, so-called 4th of July, all right, so-called Independence Day, all right, and, you know, this, 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 this lesson, all right, is going to be centered around, you know, us Israelites having no independence, all right, all people out there celebrating, all right, the so-called independence of a country that's done nothing but oppress them, man, rape, rob, murder, and spoil them, man. And America itself is it, not independent. So that's a lie. That's an illusion. America is not independent, man. All right? Because America is basically under the control of the four Angels, man. All right? And the elites, the banking elites. And it's not independent. All right? Really? The scriptures talk about the, 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 the mother of, of Babylon, man. All right? Which is Great Britain, man. So America itself is not independent, man. See, everything about this place is a lie, man. It's an illusion. It's smoke and mirrors. All right? Matter of fact, I'll start with that one. Because cause we have nothing to celebrate, especially, man, as Israelites, as the Lord's chosen, man. What's that? Uh, Nahum. Because this this place is, is nothing independent about this place, man. Alright? These Americans, alright, have no independence. Alright? Look at 2020, man. Was anything independent about that? A mandatory hokey pokey? What's independent about that, man? Alright, and what's gonna be independent about the uh MOTB? The, the microchip, man, the market of the piece, what's going to be independent about that? That's going to be punishable by death. You're going to have to take it or be put to death. So, it's, so is that independence? Hell no, that's not independence, man. Nothing about this place is independent. All right? They're talking about the draft. All right? That's not independent. All right? People see it as patriotism, but it's not independent. Forcing people to fight for you, that's not independent, man. All right, the land of the free, home of the brave. This is not the land of the free, man. Especially for us Israelites, man. So everything about this place is a damn lie. This is the book of Nahum. Chapter 3, verse 1. It says, woe to the bloody city, which is talking about America, all right, in, in these days, all right. Woe to the bloody city. Woe means destruction. Woe to the bloody city. It is it is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. So that's not independence, man. This place has done nothing but rape, rob, and murder us, man. Oppress us, man. All right. Nothing about this place is independent, man. You know. We're seeking independence. When Yahweh shall return, that's when the independence is going to come. That's when the salvation, the liberation is going to come. When our big brother, our Lord, cracked them skies, man, and return with, it, with the mighty angels of heaven, man, that's going to be the independence. Right now, we have no independence. We have nothing to celebrate, man. We should be in a state of mourning as a nation of people, man. Look at the state of our people. Look at what, look at, we're in the midst of our enemies, man. We have no independence right now, man. So all these Jakes, these so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans out there celebrating independence, man, we're, we're not independent. We have no sovereignty, man. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies which the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things 
and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So that's not independence, man. We have to go to the enemy for, for the one of all things, man. There's nothing independent about that, and that still applies now to this day, man. All right? So what's independent about having to go to the enemy for the one of all things, man? Everything, everything we need, we got to go to our enemies for it, man. Starting with the so-called white man, Esau Edom. There's nothing independent about that, man. All right? We're yet this day, matter of fact, I'm going to get that. We're yet this day in our captivity, man. So you, you Israelites out there celebrating independence, you know, you're, it's a, you're, you're delusional, man. And when I say Israelites, I'm talking about Israelites by, by birth, by blood, by nationality. Because if, if, you, if you're in this truth, all right, then you should by no means be uh, be celebrating this wicked ass uh, day, man. All right, this is the book. What I wanted. Yeah, I'm recording with my phone, so I couldn't uh, jot down or really jot down the scriptures how I want them. Uh, yeah, Baruch, Baruch, that's what I wanted. Baruch. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. It reads, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh our power. All right, so we're, we're, we're yet this day in our captivity, man. We have no independence. We have no liberation. We have no sovereignty. All right, we're, we're, we're captives, man. We're behind enemy lines. So 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 all this, this independence day bullshit, it's a farce, man. It's a lie. It's an illusion. It's smoke and mirrors. We have no independence, man. We're the captives, all right? And that's why, the, the, the uh, you know, we preach, man. All right? Because we got to preach to our people who are in captivity. We're all in captivity, man. All 12 tribes. Especially in America, Babylon the Great, man. And that's why we do the work, man. All right? Matter of fact, let's get that one. Uh, what's that? Isaiah... Uh, real quick. So yeah, man, we're in captivity, man. We have no independence. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 6. Verse 1. The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Shai, is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Who are the Israelites? All right, uh, Zephaniah 2 and 3, I want to say. All right, the meek are the Israelites. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, all right, the Israelites, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. All right, so who, so what, what, what captives, man, here in America, Babylon the Great? We have to preach liberty. We don't have liberty right now, man. We're preaching it because that's what our big brother, our Lord Yahweh Shah, has got to bring, man. Liberty, you know, sovereignty, real, true independence, man. All right. So we, we got to preach. We got to preach this, the gospel, this word to the cap to the captives, which are the Israelites, man. All right. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Because, yeah, this is a big ass prison cell, man. America, Babylon the Great. This is a big ass holding cell, prison cell for us, man. We're bound right now, man. We got to go to the enemy for one of our things. Our enemies basically control us, man. As far as, you know, our flesh, we got to work for them, all right? Make this place function how they want it to function. We're bound, man. But, hey, Yahweh Shah is going to open up the, the prison, man. All right? That's also in Isaiah, uh, the captive exile, hastening that he may be loose. Because we ain't loose right now, man. We're, we're still in, the, in this prison, this hell hole, man. But we, we hasten that we may be loose, all right, which is which is the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah. We're hastening that day. As the Apostle Peter said, man. Alright? We're hastening the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. But that day hasn't come yet, so we're still in captivity. We're still prisoners. We're still captives, man. 
This is the book of Isaiah. So like you know, Isaiah 54, Isaiah 51, Isaiah 51, Isaiah 51. Is that Isaiah 51? Uh, bear with me for a second. Isaiah. I thought it was either 54 or 51. Because we're still in captivity, man. We're hastening the day that we may be loose, man. All right, matter of fact, let me do this. Let me do this. Uh, let me do this. I like you. I thought I knew where it was, where it was, but I got to get it, you know, because we're, we're, we're captains, man. We ain't been loose yet. Mm, I'm looking right over it. Isaiah 51. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 51, verse 14. It says, the captive exile hasten it that he may be loose and that he should not die in the pit nor that his bread should fail and we're the captain man all right we're yet this day in our captivity as, as as it says in baruch 3 man what i read earlier man we're hastening we're hastening independence man by way of by way of yahweh by shema was shot that day hasn't come yet man all right we're still under the under the foot of our enemies man all right, got to go to our enemy for the one of all things, man. All right. So we're hastening uh, true independence, man. And see us, we, we uh, the Lord has put the spirit on us, and we we have a ruling class mentality, man, through the spirit and power of Yah, by Shema, All right. So what independence you think you got? Hey, we, we, we know it's not real independence, man. We want sovereignty. Sovereignty. We want to rule, man. All right. Psalms 82 say we are gods, man. All right? So we want rulership, man. That's what we want, man. Liberation, sovereignty, man. Sovereignty. We're still in captivity, man. All 12 tribes. Scripture say Judah and Israel are oppressed together. All that held, held them captive, all that took them captives held them fast that they would not let them go. And that's to this very day, man. Right, right, at, right at this second, man, right as I speak. All 12 trials are in captivity here in Babylon together. And all 12 trials are in captivity what, what, to all the places that they're scattered amongst the heathen, man. So we have no independence, man. We have no independence, man. Let's go to... Lamentations... The fourth chapter. We ain't got nothing to celebrate, man. We still under the curses. Our enemies are ruling over us. Our people are the damn laughing stock of the earth. Trusting in oppression. Going to their enemies for justice. Our people are in a, in a sad state, man. That's why we should be in the house of mourning, man. Not mirth. All right? Because we have no independence. The scriptures say that the heart of the fool is in the house of mirth, but the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, roughly paraphrasing, man. So on to the book of Ecclesiastes. All right, this is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4. Uh, let me find it. As in, uh, Bear with me for a second. Just trying to get the point. Yep. 
I start at 17. Lamentation 4 and 17. All right? Because you just had this shit show of a debate, man, that damn circus. All right, so I'll start with this. Lamentation 4 and 17. As for us, our eyes has yet failed for our vain health. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that cannot save us. So if you really had independence, why would you be uh watching, won't seeking help, man, if you have independence? You don't seek help when you have independence, man. You good when you got independence, when you got rulership, when you got sovereignty. But our people are, are seeking for vain help, man. For, for a nation that could, could not save them. Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right? Verse 18, this is the point. They hunt our steps that we cannot go into our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled for our end is come. Our, our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. Telling you who it is, all right? Swifter than the eagle, all right? Esau Edom. They pursued us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. The breath of our nostrils, the anointed of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, was taken in their pits, of whom we said, under his shadow, we live among the heathen. So that's not independence, man. <laughs> that's captivity, man. They hunt our steps, man. We're being shot down in the streets, oppressed in every form and fashion, oppressed in every way possible. That's not independence, man. That's not independence. Scripture say they, they all, all press or slay us and hold themselves not guilty, man. So that's oppression. That's not independence. So all people out there celebrating, popping fireworks and shit. Wicked ass 4th of July, man. Nothing is independent about this place. I'll jump, I'm going to go to chapter 5, Lamentation 5 and 1. Remember, our Lord, remember, O Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. So we're a nation in reproach, man, which means shame. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. Yep, these are the nations, man. These damn heathens, starting with the so-called white man Esau Edom. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. We have drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Ooh. We got to go to the enemy for the one of all things. All right. Yet this day in our captivity subject to payments. Our, our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our houses to aliens. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are, are as widows. We have drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. Is that independence? Now, does that sound like independence? We labor and have no rest, man. So what the hell are our people out there celebrating, man? Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. We have given the hand to the Egyptians and to the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread. All right. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. All right? So, yeah, because that's why we in this predicament now, man. All right? Our forefathers broke the covenant, which was us. All right? The scriptures say that the Lord will visit, will visit the iniquities of the fathers to the children of the third and fourth generation. So we're back being punished, all right, for what we've done in our past lives. All right? Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. Servants have ruled over us. Woo! No independence. Servants have ruled over us. There is none that, that does deliver us out of their hand. We're in the hand of our enemies, man. And we got to wait upon our big brother, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, to come liberate us, man. All right? So we have nothing to celebrate. We have no independence, man. Servants have ruled over us, man. These other nations, man. These damn heathen and Gentile nations. All right? The scripture says, I have seen servants upon horses. All right, and princes walking the earth as servants, man. So we're on the bottom, man. We're the princes, man. That's what Israel. That's what the name Israel means, man. He is a prince of. He is a prince of power. He is a prince of, of the power, man. Y'all sure Allah. Y'all meaning he sure prince Allah power, man. He is a prince of the power. Yeah, we're walking the earth um, 
as servants, man. Princes are walking the earth as servants, and servants are upon horses. What these these heathens are 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 sitting on high, man. All right. So we're under the rulership of 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 damn of damn servants, man. Servants have ruled over us. There was none that doth deliver us out of their hands. Yeah, Deuteronomy twenty eight six eight. No man shall redeem thee. No man shall buy thee, man. All right. No man shall deliver us, man. So yeah, man, we have nothing to celebrate, man. Hey, but guess what? It's all about the change. All right. That's why we we that's what we preach liberty, man. That's all about the change, man. As the Lord said, fear not that one of Jacob, I will help thee, man. All right? Because what's about to happen is you're going to see that you have no independence, Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. When this devil starts showing his horns and speaking at, speaking like the dragon that he is, you're going to see that you have no independence. It's going to either be get down or lay down, man. That wicked New World Order agenda, Revelation the 13th chapter. You're going to have to comply and get down with that narrative, or you're going to be outcast, man. You about to see soon that you have no independence, contrary to what you think, man, contrary to popular opinion, man. We have no independence, man. Like I said, 2020, all right, what they said, do what we want you to do, or you can't do what you want to do. That's not independence. What's independent about that, man? All right. Hey, that's all about the change, man. Hey, Yahweh Shah is coming to break all that, man. All right, let's go to uh, Revelation. Let's go to Yeah, because the, the elect, the house of David is being raised up here in this captivity, man. All right, so we have no independence as of right now, but it's all about the change. Our big brother's coming to, to, to liberate us, man. Let's go to Revelation 22. And I ain't want this to be long. You know, I just wanted to do something quick. So I'll probably close out with this one. Yeah, let's go to Revelation 22. And let's see. Revelation 22. Matter of fact, I thought it was 22. Revelation 21. Revelation 21. Revelation 21 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, which means a new rulership, trading places. All right, the meek is about to have it. The meek is about to inherit the earth. That's true independence, man. All right, Revelation 21 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, or right, a new rulership, a refreshed earth, a renewed earth. For the first heaven and first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. All right. So, yeah, man, all these. Uh, these beasts, man, which are the other nations, all right, because, cause, you know, the beast is about to push his agenda, all right, so it's going to be no more beasts, man, no more sea, no more rulership, no more heathen and, and, and Gentile rulership. When I say Gentiles, natural Gentiles, of course. So Israel is about to rule, all right, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I judged saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, "Behold, the tabernacle of the heavenly Father is with men, 
and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the heavenly Father himself shall be with them and be their power. And the heavenly Father shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall no and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. All right. So yeah, man. That's that that's that real independence, man. Alright. That's the real that's the true independence, man. Alright. I'm gonna jump over to uh, chapter 22. Alright. This is chapter 22, verse 8. Alright. This is I'll start at the top, Revelation 22 and 1. And he showed and he shewed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of the heavenly father and of the Lamb. So that's the heavenly father, Yahweh, and the lamb, which is Yahweh Shah. And in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there a tree of life, which bare 12 manners of fruit. All right, representing the 12 tribes. And yet her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of the heavenly father and of the lamb shall be in, and his servant shall serve him. All right. So, yeah, man, there shall be no more curse. That's, you know, that's what's coming, man. True independence. Liberation, man. When you house shall crack them skies and take down the heathen, man. And that's the real Independence Day, man. All right. <laughs> that's the real Independence Day, man. Like they showed you in that movie, man, with Will Smith, man. So-called aliens coming back. Well, that, that's, that's, that's your house with shot, man. Because he's coming to give his people, which are the uh, Hebrew Israelites, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, real independence. He's coming to set us back on high, man, to give us sovereignty, man, liberation, true independence, man. As of right now, we have nothing to celebrate, man. Our neck is under the foot of our enemies. All right? So, yeah, man, you know, we have nothing to celebrate. All right? Now, on a day like today, of course, you're going to have Jake, you know, cooking out and, you know, doing this and that. So, you know, like the apostles say, man, you know, just don't be in that 4th of July American spirit, man. All right. There's nothing wrong with going and sliding through and, and getting you a plate of food, as long as everything is lawful, of course, you know, according to the dietary law. All right. There's nothing wrong with going to, going to get a plate of food, man. All right. Because you're not... You're not eating that food in the name of uh, idolatry, man. In the name of Jeebus Cross, you know, all these idols. All right? So it's nothing. You're just, you just getting a plate of food like you would on any other day, man. You're just eating a plate of food. As long as you're not in that 4th of July Babylonian American spirit, all right, popping fireworks, man. All right? Having damn 4th of July American outfit on and shit, red, white, and blue, man. As long as you're not in that spirit, man, as long as you just slide through and get you a plate of food and dip, man, you may talk, you know, with your relatives or something for a few minutes or whatever, but, you know, just don't be in that 4th of July spirit, man. So getting you a plate of food, there's nothing wrong with that, all right? The scriptures say, let no man judge you in meat and drink, man, all right? So, you know, as long as you're not, you know, praying over the food and, and to idols, man, you know, eating it in that 4th of July spirit, man, you know, you can just slide through and get you a plate of food and handle your business, be on your way, man. But just don't be in that 4th of July spirit because we have nothing to celebrate, man. We have nothing to celebrate. All right? And like I said, America itself is not independent, man. It's all an illusion. Nothing is independent about America. It's just an extension of, of basically of Britain, man. Great Britain. All right? England, man. That's why you have places... With names like let's see, names like damn, you know, New York, New Hampshire, New Hampshire, all right, New England, all right. It's just an extension of Great Britain, man. It's nothing independent about this place, man. And you Israelites, we dare us Israelites damn sure don't have no no independence, man. No liberation, no sovereignty. But it's all about the change, man. Matter of fact, I'll close out with that. I'll close out with that. This is this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 
chapter 6. It's the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6. Verse, what is it? I think it's nine. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter six, verse nine. Matter of fact, I started at seven. Second Ezra six and seven. Then answer I. And said, What shall be the parting of Sonda, a Sonda of the time, or which shall be the end of the first and the beginning of the uh, and the beginning of it that followed? So the prophet Etrus was asking, you know, when when is you know when is Israel is gonna be in rulership, man? When is when is when is gonna be a changing of ages, man? Alright. Verse 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. All right, and that's what, that's what, what that represents what the Israelites coming into rulership, pulling the, this devil down, man. That's what Yahweh Shah is going to do. All right, so that was representative of, uh, you know, uh, the Israelites pulling the, the Edomites, this so-called white devil. All right, he's not so-called devil, but I'm saying so-called white. This, this so-called white, all right, man, all right, this devil that the Bible speaks of, you know, Jacob handheld Esau's hill representing what? What's pulling them down out of rulership, man? All right, and that's the time that we're coming into. That's the, that's the, that's what's about to happen, man. Soon, verse second, chapter six and nine. This is the point. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So, Jacob ruling the nation of Israel ruling. That's Independence Day, man. That's our independence. That's our liberation, man. All right, and that world is going into what ages, eon. All right, it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be uh, a changing of, of rulership. Uh, the ages are gonna change, man. All right. So this devil is almost is, is is coming to his end, man. You know the Lord is about to get ready to set his people back on high, man. Back in back in our rightful uh, position, man. Because we were made to rule the earth, man. All these nations were made to serve us, man. And that's the time we're coming into, man. All right, so, but as of right now, we have no independence, man. But, hey, it's right around the corner. All right, Yahweh Shah's return is close, man. All right. So, right as of right now, we have no independence, hey, but it's all about the change, man. It's all about the change. So, I just wanted to go into that right quick, man, because, you, you know, you got a lot of our people in this full, uh, damn, wicked 4th of July spirit celebrating, the, uh, celebrating oppression, really. Celebrating the so-called independence of a country that's that's never had their best interests at heart, that's done nothing but rape, rob, murder, and oppress them, man. All right, all twelve tribes. All right, but hey, it's all about the change, man. Through the spirit and power of Yah, Bashim Shah, Big Brother is about to come and give us independence, man. All right. So I just wanted to, uh, you know, go into that. You know, hopefully this was edifying to the elect. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, I Shah. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessing to the hopeful elect, the house of David, starting with the 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. All right, and that's who's about to rule, man. When the house of David is ruling the earth, man, that's our independence, man. That is our independence. And that day is soon, man. That day is not, man. The Lord is raising up the house of David, man. All right? So, you know, hopefully this was edifying to the elect, man. All right? And, you know, hopefully, you know, uh, you know, this reached the ears of the elect, man. And this was edifying, you know, uh, to the hope to the hope for the elect of our people, man. All right? Through the speed and power of Yahweh Shemar Shah. Obaba Baal, Shalom.